What is going on guys? Thunderi here and today I will be doing my honest review on the Nintendo Switch. First, we gotta take a look at the body. It's very nice looking and the build quality feels very premium. As for the front screen, we never applied screen particle on it and there hasn't even got one scratch on it. As for the back of the Switch, we can see the kickstand and it attracts a lot of fingerprints. As for the Joy-Con, the grips feels great, it doesn't feel cheap at all, and I gotta say, it's very durable from falling. I've been falling this Joy-Con for a couple of times, but it's still working great. The control feels awesome when it is in handheld mode. But for some people, they will need to get used to the analog stick on the bottom right due to they are used to the PlayStation control. The analog stick and the upper trigger buttons overall feel satisfying, it's very responsive. As for the game, it comes with a large box which holds a mini game cartridge in it. The size of the game cartridge is almost similar to the PS Vita game card. To load the game, just simply pop the top flip and insert the game card. Loading the game are relatively fast. So just insert the game card, and then you turn back on the switch, you'll be seeing your games are loaded. And it's very responsive. And the, there's another cool way to play the switch, which is by popping the Joy-Con out and play it remotely. It definitely provide you another good experience to experience the Nintendo Switch. To use the Joy-Con for your multiplayer, you will need to put on the Joy-Con strap. Just like the Joy-Con in the strap and you are ready to go. Keep in mind to make sure the Joy-Con match the positive and negative logo sign on the strap or else it will get stuck. Alright, as for the battery life, the Joy-Con able to take up to a couple of hours while the console able to take up to a minimum of 5 hours of battery life depending on the game you are running. So, if you are using the mini Joy-Con, you will be feeling a bit of uncomfortable at first and your hand will be feeling exhausted if you, especially you have a big hand. But we'll get used to it soon. As for the strap of the L and R Joy-Con, uh, you will need to press harder because sometimes it feels to trigger it. So you will need to press harder. Uh, furthermore, the Joy-Con motion control also did a pretty good job at it. As you can see, the Joy-Con motion works. It, it can capture the player movement very well. So it did a really a pretty good job on here. As for multiplayer game which are having split screen, it actually worked pretty well. While you are playing, you will notice that that's a problem. As for me, I still enjoy playing on the split screen with my friends. That's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you have any questions. And I will see you guys in the next one.